Today I'll show you around the Sandville, a Venezuelan mall. The Sandville is one of the largest shopping malls located in Venezuela in the city of Valencia, Carabobo State. But this one is special though, because it's shaped as a baseball wow. stadium. Yes, as you heard it. If you can see, what I'm pointing out right here is the layout of the whole shopping mall. And you can see that we have four bases. Obviously we have home, which is the main entrance of the shopping mall. Afterwards, if you keep on walking, if you go right, you will get to the first base. If you go left, you will get to the third base, exactly as a baseball stadium. How cool is that? Pretty creative. And there's also three floors. So the first floor consists of mainly stores. The second floor is uh, normally where everybody stands on, consists of the cinema and several, I would say, luxurious stores such as Victoria's Secret, as you're gonna see later on, Candy Adventure, which is a store filled up with only candies and sweets. We also have several technology-related stores and much more. And the third floor contains mostly food stalls and also an arcade, which we're gonna explore at the end of the video. But before diving into the Sam Bill, let's go back to how the day started. So while heading to the mall, I really thought it was gonna be closed since the government decided to address the pandemic in a different way than other countries have. The implemented plan in the country is a 7-7 plan. And this one consists of seven days open and seven days closed. What do you mean by that, you may wonder? Well, during a week, you can go out and run all the errands you have to go shopping, and go to the supermarkets, go to the pharmacies, and everything is open until 5 p.m. Whereas in closed weeks, pharmacies and other stuff remain open until 2 p.m. And other businesses such as food stalls, uh, stores, uh, technology-related shops, etc. will not be open throughout the whole week. Well, the week where I was going to the Sun Bill was a closed week. And to my surprise, the shopping mall was opened when it shouldn't. So you can see that while heading to the mall, the streets look really lonely, almost as if it was a movie from Hollywood. But anyway, we managed to get to the Sun Bill that day. And before that, we went to some stores first. And I decided to show you one of the most delightful and tasty desserts in Venezuela. And this one is the Cocada. I stopped by a store just a few meters away from the shopping mall I was going to, to get delighted by this dessert, which is called Cocada. And this place you can get one Cocada for $2. You can choose from brownies to Oreos to strawberries, grapes, rum with raisins, among others. And I went for this big brownie cocada. And for those of you who might not be familiar with the term cocada, a cocada, at least in Venezuela, is a dessert made out of coconut. It's shredded coconut then, which is thrown into a blender along with some other things such as milk, condensed milk, some coconut chunks, and everything is blended together and served in a glass. And obviously they are adding the toppings which may consist of strawberries, brownies, etc. In this case, I went for the brownie one and it was delicious. You can see the consistency of this. It was so thick, delicious obviously, but thick with three C's and rich. And if you don't mind about calories, then this dessert is for you. And I also bought this rum with raisins flavored ice pop. Such a delicious treat if you're in a really hot day like today. And similarly, the country situations as well as the pandemic situation don't seem to stop people from frequenting these places. And you can see the place looks fairly full of people regardless of the situation. Well, anyway, let's get back on track. So the main thing that you notice when entering the San Bill, obviously it depends on the entrance that you go through. I went through the second base entrance and the first thing that you notice is this big hole leading to the bank. Yes, at the end there's a bank and we're gonna go there and see whether there's some cash or not. Let's go check it out.
No, there's no cash. Well, at this point, I think we shouldn't get surprised by it. Let's continue walking. Wow, that store looks filled with candies and sweets. There are a lot of trees and souvenirs that you can take your family from here. Well, let's keep on exploring the area. Not far from the candy store, we encountered this choo-choo train. I really wanted to get on there, but I had to remind myself I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> Look, there's the Casio store! And right next to it, there's the cinema, which unfortunately we couldn't enter due to the pandemic situation and the closed week. I told you at the very beginning that this was a closed week, so I couldn't show you any footage from the inside. But don't worry, I'll make sure to record a video only about the cinema one of these days, so you can also check out the prices and how everything looks like in a Venezuelan cinema. A Victoria's Secret store in Venezuela? Oh, who would have told? We couldn't actually enter and record any footage from the inside of the stores, since some of them were already filled up to the maximum amount of people allowed in the store. Because you can see there's a sign hung on the store's windows that indicates the amount of people that can be in the store at the same time. Wow, look at that! Such a bright and shiny store! You may not see it on the video, but it was actually glowing from afar. And I have already purchased from this store before. I got a Rubik's Cube and it's so awesome to play around with it. I just decided to show you this store so you have a glimpse of what it looks like and what it contains. So many Rubik's Cubes! There's some Minecraft toys and also, oh, from Star Wars as well. For those of you who are fans of Star Wars and the Marvel Cinematic Universe, when you come to Venezuela and check out the store, purchase one of these key holders. They look so awesome. And now let's head over to a, an area that I've been eagerly waiting to show you. It is this broad area called the Food Fair of San Bill. Such an amazing place to hang out with friends, right? Upstairs, we encounter what I've been really keen to show you throughout all this time, and it's the arcade. To give you a little bit of a background, Arcades were cancelled back in the days in Venezuela by the former president Hugo Chavez because of several implementations as well as the country's economy decline. Thus, most arcades around the country just flew to other places and a few remained. Honestly, I didn't even know this one was still standing afloat. But yes, it is, and we're bringing our inner child back to life with this. Without any further ado, Let's explore the insides of this. To be honest with you, I wasn't planning to come here and play, just record the inside. But I got so excited that I went along with the vibe. And now I'm here queuing to get my card. Let's see what it looks like. So this is the card for the arcade. The card costs one dollar and each play on whatever game costs also one dollar. With that being said, let's light it up.
Well, I got 10 tickets, a hundred more to go now. And if you wonder why I'm getting tickets from this Kung Fu Panda game and not from the others, it's because some games will give you tickets and some others just won't. So well, I decided to play a mix of them. Now it's time to claim our prize. That concludes the video. If you liked it, please subscribe and see you later.